Hello YouTube, it's Accurate again, back with another video from the home studio. And I don't want to oversell anything here, but this video is actually kind of special to me. Accurate Beats. Accurate Beats. Well, if you've ever seen any of my videos before, you know that I'm a big machine user and pretty much a Native Instruments fanboy, I guess. So when Mick Benjamins, who works for Native Instruments, asked me to be a part of a competition on the Native Instruments blog, of course I said yes right off the bat. And if I just happen to win this entire contest, I'm gonna be given the 175 different products that are on sale right now and do a giveaway of that on this YouTube channel to my subscribers. Now you should be able to find a few different links in the description down below. One goes straight to the Native Instruments sale, which is actually 50% off of all of these 175 different software products. And the other link goes to the Native Instruments blog post, where you can actually go in and vote for your favorite entry. Obviously I'm a part of this, but we also have some other really talented producers here on YouTube being a part of this contest. Such as Courtney Hawkins, DDS, Knock Squared, Marquez Kincaid or Landmark, Pat Ryan, Sarah Too Ill or Sarah the Instrumentalist, as well as Stefan Guy. So the mission all of us got was to make a track or a beat or a song or whatever you want to call it using different effects and instruments that are a part of the Native Instruments sale. So first of all I want to take the entire time frame here and switch it around and actually start by letting you guys hear the track that came out of this session. And hopefully it's a really nice boom bap hip hop track with some scratch on it if everything came out nicely. And then when you've heard the track I'm gonna cut in the actual beat making part and show you guys how I did the track. Which was before the track was finished but yeah you know what I'm saying. So here goes the actual track. But before that again make sure to go to the blog post and vote for your favorite. Thanks. <laughs> Now we do it like that and like this Like yo, like yo Like that and like this Who's who? Who's who? Who, who? Who's this? Accurate So for a competition like this, I want to make sure that the beat that comes out of it actually sounds like something that I would normally make. And since I'm so much into using samples from a lot of different sources, I'm going to try to play something and use that as a sample inside a machine. My plan is to find some nice keys and maybe some string sounds, combine them in one track, use that as a sample, chop it up and start using it like I would with any other sample. So I think my main sample will contain a piano and strings. So let's see what kind of piano sounds I can find first. Maybe we should look for a piano sound inside of the giant. Basic giant, one of the first ones. Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's keep that one and let's look for a string sound as well. Let's go for something like, yeah, emotive strings. That sounds about right. So there we go, a piano instrument and a couple of strings. So I want to change my tempo from 120 down to 95. Yeah, that's okay. And see if I can just record a couple of chords on the piano and maybe something else on the string and then use that as a sample. So let's give the piano a try for eight bars. And now some strings. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, well, I guess that's a start, but I feel like I should add something more here. So let's open up another group and another sound, and I don't really know what I'm looking for. Here's something. Vintage keys. Maybe that could work, like a clavinet. So I'm actually not sure if I'm able to use this as my main sample. It got a little bit messy and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to save it in the machine. But let's try to resample it and chop it up and put some drums on it and see what happens. And let's record the entire sample on a new pad. So let's mute all the other stuff and just focus in on this one. This is my main sample at the moment and I don't know if I'm able to use it, but let's try to chop it up anyways. So I have my 16 different chops and to be able to find a pattern it's much easier if I have some drums in the mix. So let's load up a new group with some drums. I am going to choose a group from the infamous flow expansion kit. That sounds kind of cool for what I'm trying to do. So that's good enough. I'm still in 95 BPM, so let's just record a little drum loop right here. Something like that. Let's pitch that one down. And let's get back to the sample and see if I can do something that matches up with the drums. Now I think I want to pitch my sample up a little bit, like I normally do when I sample from something else. Maybe pitch it back down a little bit. Maybe pitch it up an octave. Well, I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting closer by the minute. So let's try to change the pitch of the sample and see how much that changes everything. By now I think I have something here, so let's record a sequence on top of the drums. So finally I came up with a pattern that I feel fits kind of nicely together with the drums. It is a little bit too choppy even for my taste, but I'm sure that's going to be resolved when I put some sub bass and maybe some more melodic sounds on top of this one from the keyboard. But for now I want to add another pattern with the same sample to make a variation on my next scene. Maybe something a little bit more simple, like... Yep, perhaps something just like that. Now let's go back to scene one again and load up a new sound on the keyboard and see if I can play something manually to go on top of this track. So I don't know what I'm looking for here, but I've had luck before with the Kinetic Toys instrument. So this one is called Tiny Piano 1 and sounds like that. And I played the entire sample in A minor and I pitched the whole thing to semitones up, which puts it right there. So let's give it a try. So the next step here is to add a bass line to this beat, even though the clavinet right here kind of plays the role as a bass instrument, I still need something to add a few of the bass frequencies to make it sound like it should. So let's load up one of the bass instruments in here. So let's go for the J bass. And let's see if I can record the bass line real quick. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, simple enough. And let's go to scene two and do the same thing there. So, so far we have the main sample, the drums, the little piano thing, as well as the bass. Now I feel like it's time to add something more. And there is this instrument called Rise and Hit. Let's see if I can find something from that to add on this track. There we have one called Nasty Lift Up. Let's open up that one and see if it's usable. So let's go to the second scene and add that little swoosh at the end of it. Well, I guess that one adds a little bit of dynamic to the beat, so let's keep it at the end of scene two just for the fun of it. So I'm pretty much done here. Let's go in and fine tune the sample and go to the group level and see if I can add some effects here. I want to go with the built-in saturator. Next up, I'm adding a little bit of metaverb. And then maybe I'm going to add the grain delay as well. Pitch it up one octave and see how it sounds. It just adds a little bit of shine to the sample. But now when I think about it, let's bypass the saturation and see if I can add the plugin that's called Driver to do a little bit of filtering and adding some distortion to it instead of just using the saturation. And where I have the saturation, let's instead use an equalizer just to be able to boost the low mids a little bit. Now the only thing that's left here is to adjust the kick drum on this group right here. I'm gonna add an EQ here as well to just boost the low frequencies and take out some of the highs. So the beat making part of this video is done by now and this is the time in a video like this where you normally see me doing some scratching on top of the beat but in this case you've already seen that so... So I guess all that's left by now for me is to encourage you guys one more time to check out the Thanksgiving sale on Native Instruments website. 50% off 175 different software products. I have an affiliate link down below so please use that one if you're interested. And of course you should also go to the Native Instruments blog and find the post about this competition and take a vote for your favorite video or track. In other words, go to the blog post, vote for my video and help me win this competition so I can do the giveaway on this channel. I'm pretty sure that the whole voting thing goes on for just one week, so please just go there. And when the campaign is over, I'm gonna make a video on this channel announcing the winner as well, so you won't miss that information. Well, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care and hot Accurate beats.